Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Xcode 14 Beta, which was just released yesterday, June 6th, during Apple's WWDC 2022 event. First thing you'll do is go to developer.apple.com slash download slash applications, and you will need to have a developer account with Apple in order to do this. You don't have to pay for this, but you will still need the developer account. We'll sign in. You'll see it does require Mac OS 12.4 or later, and the download is 7.28 gigs. So let's click it and get started. Now that the download is finished, we are left with an Xcode 14 beta zip. So let's click that zip file and start extracting it. This will take some time, so you might just want to walk away and do something else while this is going on. Now that it's finished unzipping, we will drag it into our applications. And let's open it up. Agree to the license. Put in our password. Let's close out these other windows here. And this is the first thing you'll notice that's new with Xcode when you get the beta. You have the option to install watchOS 9 and tvOS 16. iOS and macOS are already pre-built, but you do not have to check these now. There are different ways to do this in future. So let's just hit continue. And let's make a new project. Now here, if we go to tvOS and watchOS, we have the option to get those packages that we did not have before. It'll download and install them. So you'll see that we've got watchOS and tvOS queued. Let me close out of those. Hit next. Oops. Let's create a macOS app. And the last place that you can go ahead and get those watchOS and tvOS downloads is if you do command comma and you come to platforms you'll see they're both here so same way you can hit get on both of them and it will start downloading that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a good rest of the wwdc thanks for watching